Hey right, guys, how you doing? Sid Meier's Starship's released today. I'm a big fan of Sid Meier's games, although recently they've not been all that great. This one's pretty cheap. I got it from Green Man Gaming for about £8.50, pence, which is what, about $12-$13 or so? So obviously it's not going to be AAA quality, likes of your Civilization series and stuff like that, but it should be quite interesting. So let's have a look at it. Just with a new game. Right, so you can choose an affinity, supremacy, harmony, purity, and these are all the leaders from Civ 5 Beyond Earth, which wasn't a fantastic game, quite a big disappointment to a lot of people, in fact. Right, so let's go with a large map, we'll go with six opponents, we'll make it moderate difficulty, let's make it five opponents actually. Epic, it goes up to six, yeah, so large and five is probably good, medium four. Yeah, right, so we'll go with large and five. Now you get one random wonder for these, for, for Supremacy. Harmony gets you half repaired ship cost and purity is... Doubled resource rewards for completing missions, that's pretty good. They're all pretty good actually, it really just I think depends on what you want. Uh, let's have a look at the leaders, Barry. Cost of sex reduced by 25%, so sure. Two random take upgrades, right. Kavitha. One extra city, LOD, crew morale increased by 10%. Mm. Kozlov, melt reduction 25%. Hutama, always gets first visit influence bonus. Not really sure. Starts with an additional warship. Mm. And fielding 50 credits per city each turn, 50 extra credits per city. Right, so looking at all these, I'm gonna go with. You know, let's just go with the LOD. And I'm gonna take. Oh, I reckon Supremacy is gonna be popular. Random Wonder already built. Yeah. I'm gonna take Purity, I think. Purity and LED. So, moderate difficulty, large, five opponents. This just tells you how to play the game. We'll figure it out. Right, so here's my home world. You can click on this for advice, and there's a space of PDA, diplomacy, market, research, new technology, upgrade, build and repair starships. Right, so what we got around here, this looks like a player. Do I have diplomacy yet? Right, I don't know anybody else yet, but lots of things. Right, so I've got, if I mouse over my home world, can build cities, build improvements, build a warp control wonder. Well, that does. Right, so I've got a warp nexus, planetary defense, got a bunch of stuff. 600 food, 600 credits, 600 science. So this is the Empire Homeworld up here. <laughs> Seems a little bit close to me. I'm going to go to Libra 39, because funnily enough, I am 39 years old and a Libra, so this is one that I am definitely going to be going to. Maybe research first though, yeah? Right, so I've got a thousand science down here, and stuff costs more than that, generally. Right, so science looks like it's increases to your engines, shields, armor, lasers, cannons, torpedoes. Sensors, stealth systems, and fighters gain one random module. Hmm. Right, well, stealth's always good, right? Isn't it? Hmm. I'm not going to bother with this just now. I'm going to move over here. Right, if you mouse over it, completing the mission Dark Star at this planet will earn you a reward of 600 credits and two influence points. Right, so its icy biome produces 50% additional science, so. Obviously, when I get it, I'm going to get 50% extra in this. Right. Approaching Libre 39. Right, so it looks like their enemies are using cloaked fighters and they want us to help them. Tell me more about Libre 39. Planetary information. Two billion citizens. And they can increase their population using less food, okay. Right, what's this? Increase the effectiveness of all starship shields, right. Okay. Provide me with some advice. 
Good time to upgrade our sensors, because I'm fighting cloaked ships, yeah, so that makes sense. The chance of mission success, 54%. 54%, right. So this must be them, this must be the the enemy. Fighter squadrons. So we've got one engines, one shields, no armor, no lasers, plasma cannons. I think these are short range, lasers are long range. But cannons do more damage type of thing. Engines and shields, that should be pretty. Engine shields and armor, yeah, that's pretty obvious what that is. Torpedoes as well. Sensors, stealth. Right, so they've got two in stealth, so their, their ships are good at stealth, but not much copper, anything else. So that's probably why they told me to upgrade my sensors if they've got stealth, yeah. So I click on this build repair starships now. Right, so I'm ones in most stuff, I think. Right, so this one's got laser, this one's got a cannon. So this is going to be a closer range one. It wants me to upgrade my sensors though. So we better do that. Why did that go to two? That's at two now anyway. Right, so this is using energy to do all this. Hmm, still seems rather handy. I'm gonna put a point in stealth as well. Right. Oh, you can buy more ships here but too late now as well. Corvette and an assault Corvette. Right so speed and hit points. 45 hit points and this one looks faster. And that will do me for now. Chance of mission success 62. Right so my, my mission success chance is going up because I upgraded my ships. Right okay so I'm going to try and help them here at yes, Levy 39. Man. Right increase shield effectiveness which I completely forgot all about. Right, so they're moving and then stealthing. Right, so holding down right, and you can spin them with the right mouse button. Left lets you drag the map around. So I'm guessing this is the, the, the whole battlefield, this round thing. Right, so right click inside the white movement border to move your starship. So he's over around about here and then he's stealth. So I want to make sure he can't get a shot at me right now. I'm going to come round here. Now, sensor, stealth mode, turn left, turn right. What's this? Battle card, nanobots repair all critical hats, okay. Right, now, if I activate my sensors, I'm going to be too far away, I think, yeah? I don't really want to end the turn. Maybe it just ends his turn? Yeah, right. Now, you can't shoot through these, I think, but you can put torpedoes through it from what I saw in another video. Let me move up here with this guy. We know he's over here. And I'm just going to stealth, I think. Or actually, if we know he's here, I can fire a torpedo over around about here, right? Nah, the thing is, though, he's... Oh, we know he has to come through there, right? But will he get through there before... Yeah, if he's here right now, he's probably going to reach about here. So I'm going to put my torpedo down around here. No! Eight hit points and I think I've got 45. You're in a lot of trouble. Right, what's this? Run detonate. Detonate looks pretty good, yeah? Nice shot. Yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the AI's got a little bit to work on regarding torpedoes. But I'll take that. Right, so, what's all this about? I took a lot of damage, so I've lost points. I gained points for 30 hit points of damage inflicted. Right, okay. Trade route established with Libre 39. Right, so, 600 credits and... I'm the first athlete to come to the raid, so I get plus one influence, and 50% of our people now support your federation, right? So get a trade route and share half of the resources, okay? Right, so this first one to talk to him seems important, as you get an extra influence, which is, I think, these rings. Dark matter, no inhabitable planets in this quadrant acquire one battle card. Right. Marauders here. Final judgment, hmm. 
Right, let's have a look and see what I can buy here. Uh, sorry, build here. Build cities, build improvements. Right, so buy a fuel plant. These plant things are what you'd expect. An increase in science and metals and stuff. Right, travel instantly to this system, removing crew fatigue. Right, that seems like it could come in useful. Um, I think I saw one here. Yeah, I've got one here. Right, so I guess you can always return back to your capital then. Have you got one turn to travel to it? What's this? Our battle fleet is one move distant and can take advantage of this. The planetary defence facility. Right. Now, like I was saying, because because the first to speak to them gets an influence bonus, it's very probably quite important, in fact, to, to move, move as much as you can. You've got this thing down here, though, which is crew fatigue, which is, I think, your limiting factor. So right now, my crew is only going to be operating at 90% because one of them's tired, or 10% are tired. Right. I'm not going to bother with this still. Maybe I will, actually. No, I'm not going yet. Hmm. Right, so... I think this when this is like this, you've got damaged ships, yeah? When this is red... This looks like the cost to repair is going to be 231 and I've only got 500 left. But you don't want damaged ships, I think, so... Right, so I don't have an awful lot of money left. Marauders. 12 billion citizens of Nemesis 48. Right. right so you're going to need a powerful Starfleet to defeat them. I'm not going near that then. That, that may be act as a natural barrier. As long as you don't start sending ships out. Right. I'm going to run up here. Approaching Sergite 41. Right. The Marauders that rule our world believe that only they have the right to rule. We wish to leave this world. We can all easily fit on your flagship. And you only need to escape through a warp portal. Will you help us? Displaying planetary information. Yeah, so reduce sensors and weapons range. Better miners here. Upgrading the engines of our flagship should be a priority, okay. Chance of mission success, 45%. That looks like they've got a bit more than what I've got. And they're faster. And these guys have got really big cannons that you don't want to get in there. Look at the speed of this guy. Yeah, these Ravagers look bad news. Um, <laughs> I don't like the look of this one, to be honest with you. Jump over here for this Dark Matter. Or just stay here. Right. All starships increase engine power. Right, so every time you move basically, yeah, you you, you get fatigued, so sure leave. Come, Mr. Haban. The Commonwealth welcomes you. Right, okay, Hutama. Tidak menjadi masalah. Right, so they've got a similar looking fleet to mine. Tells you how much science they do and how much we do. Tidak menjadi masalah. Right. Tidak menjadi masalah. Now, let us put aside animosity. Right, no peace yet. He's moving away from me though, so I'm quite happy with that. Receiving all resources from Libre 39. Next, what's this that's happened at Libre then? Because we stayed there, we get plus one influence, and all of the resources I get now instead are just half. Right, okay. But it doesn't join me until it's got four rings, so I'm going to leave this one to Hutama. He can go take on these marauders if he wants. I'm going to head down here. But first of all, though, let's have a look at research. Probably better off to do your research early in the turn before you fight. I've got 2150. Um, I'm just going to start at the top. Ion drive level one. Faster engines. That can't be bad, right? 
Now, what about money? I have got 1,369. I'm going to add a ship. Right, so I've now got three ships. That'll have to do me though, because I've not got much in the way of money left now. Right, so down here to this one, Fragile 800 signs. Like two cities I've got. Yeah, right. So what will it give me? Volcanic biome at the bottom says it gets 50% additional energy. So when I'm getting like a thousand here, I'm obviously going to get, you know, 50% more from this one. Yeah, that's why I get 300 science from Libra 39, because that was 50% science from this. Right. Upgrade Starship Fighters more efficiently. So maybe that means if, if my fleet's here, I can buy cheaper fighter upgrades, I guess. Let's move here anyway. Approaching Bonesus 95. Right, they're threatened by a pirate squadron operating in the area. Yep, I will defend them. Displaying planetary information. Fully mapped the star system? Cool. We can commence combat operations as soon as we arrive. So we have to protect the outpost. Chance of mission success, 53%. I've got a fighter squadron and a raider. The raider's a little bit menacing and it looks like it's got stealth. The fighter's garbage. 85 hit points in that raider though. Can maybe go with an upgrade on something. Let's buy that upgrade then because we know he's got one stealther out there. Yes, Commander. Right, immediate combat. So that's his fighter squadron. But we don't know where his radar is, I think, because it's got stealth here. Yeah? Oh, wait a minute, we do know where it is. SS Roberts and Fox Bat. Right, so... So this guy's got a plasma cannon, I'm going to move up here. And... Actually, I think maybe the best thing to do... Keep a line of sight to this thing. Maybe by moving here. And then... Go away the fighters. Nice shot. Right, now we want to be careful from this as well. You're in a bad spot there, though. Yeah, that's not good. Fire torpedo. Oh, yeah, right. So, I can make him think about where he's coming, yeah, by shooting a torpedo down. He's just going to come up there, though, lately, then. Hmm. I'm going to make him think about where he has to go by shooting my torpedo down and straight towards him. I don't like where this is sitting. This looks like it's going to get a shot at if he comes through here to get a clean shot at me. I don't really want to go into this wormhole either because it's probably going to pop me out. <laughs> and it's just my luck to end up there. Uh, Fucking stealth though. Right, so. Ah. Get him out of the way. Oh, this is my Corvette, not. Ah! I messed that one up quite a bit then. Engaging stealth systems. Right, you're in. Don't like him being there at all. shield level by one. Right, so he's going for my shot. Uh, so I guess this is the range of it, so I'm just going to detonate. Didn't take him out though. This is going to take him out, though. Right. 
So, I mean, hitting seems pretty devastating, at least at the start. Your ship seems to do quite a lot of damage, at least. Right, so... The laser weapons are being upgraded. Trade route established with Bonesis 95. Right, so you get the 800 science, you get the influence for being first. And we're getting half the resources. Right, now, I need to be careful because if I move my fleet too far away, I won't be able to get here in one turn, even though I'd like to jump over here to this Dark Matter card. I don't think I can get through them all like that. Can't afford to repair my ship. Right, um... I'm going to move back here until this Libra 39 is mine. I should probably build a warp nexus here, in fact. I'm going to warp do that now. Operational. Again, I'm at 20% effectiveness. We'll just take shore leave. Right, so the AI definitely seems to be moving a bit faster than me, so I'm being too cautious, I think, regarding this crew morale. Libre 39 has joined our federation. But you are getting the benefit out of it, yeah? Because every time you take shore leave on another planet, it adds plus one influence. So there's nothing too wrong about that. As you can see now, I have now got this Libre 39 in my territory. Old reactive armor wonder. Reactive armor prevents torpedoes from damaging our starships. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I can't do that yet. Right. Maybe next turn I can afford that. I think I maybe need some kind of defense here as well. Right. 500 to build us 500 food, right? So food is what's used for building cities, right? Okay, so let's start that then. Now it goes up to 750 for the second one. And each city is adding more resources every turn. Okay, so two there will do for now. The warp control wonder allows you to use multiple jump gates during starship battles. Hmm. Can't afford that. Now let's grab this dark matter over here. Double firepower next show. I thought I'd already gotten this dark matter card. I'm not quite sure about these dark matter things. I'm gonna move on though. Repairs 50% of starship damage. Okay. Aligns homeworld. So here's another AI. Prime target. Difficult mission. Very difficult mission. Right. Actually, the topic tells you how difficult the missions are. The mission. Hmm. Right. I don't know what I think about having this dark matter here because it means I'm kind of. I suppose it means nobody's going to be coming pressing towards me in this direction either. So I really should be thinking about coming up here. Acquire doppelganger, clone this starship. It seems to be that moving on to these gives you a card every time. Right, so I'm going to move up and try and complete this mission. It just says it's a mission, not a difficult mission. Approaching Sagittae 41. Right. So I need to try and escape. I've got plenty more credits. I need to repair this one first of all and the flagship. How do you know which one's the flagship exactly? Top one? Let's give them extra speed anyway. So I'm going to give extra speed to them all because that looks pretty handy. I think I'm going to give them torpedoes too. Those torpedoes are handy. Let's cut them out in long and short range weaponry. Right. 
Sixty percent chance. Of chance. That's a big fleet I'm up against, though. So I think I'm going to be running as fast as I can. Yes, Commander. We just sensor and weapon range. Okay, that's good. Hmm, that's not so good. Right. So Achilles is my flagship, apparently. Hmm. Right. So. Can't come through here, so fire up around in this area. I should help keep him hemmed in there. <laughs> the torpedo's pretty smart. I, I like the way that they, they add that sort of dimension to the torpedoes. Pretty cool. Right, what's the next? What's this? Battle cards. Right, these battle cards are maybe one use things only then, looking at this. Doppelganger clone this ship. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to move to here. And now, I'm going to fire the torpedo in this direction. Right, you could be in a bit of trouble. Right, so this is my flagship Achilles, which I need to get to here, I think. So I'm going to bring him in here. And I will still him. My engines have been damaged. Uh oh, that's not good. However, I've taken out one of his bigger ships. Uh gonna run on with this one, I think. Can't see anything. <laughs> Detonate at random. Right, so Hector. Yeah, it's definitely important to hit. Take my sensors. Doesn't appear to be anything They're around. Good work. But I just had to escape. Trade route established with Sergite forty one. All right, so get all this, all the same kind of typical bonuses I'm getting out of that. And what's this? An important mission to Leonis 71 and I will get a new technology once I get there, right? Right, so that's a good place to stop my first look at Sid Meier's Starships. I'll see you in the second video.